Alright, in this video I'm going to go ahead and put together a negative clamper circuit with DC bias. I'm going to go ahead and start putting the circuit together now and we'll get into discussion when I'm done. Here's a regular negative clamper circuit uh, along with the diode. One way you can tell this is a negative clamper circuit is that the cathode is always pointing to, toward ground. It'd be a positive clamper circuit if the anode was pointing toward ground. Um, one reason you would use this circuit is that if your signal was going through a, a capacitively coupled portion of the circuit you would lose your DC bias. And if you needed to reestablish that DC level you would use a clamper circuit, negative or positive. Remember in a plain clamper circuit with no DC bias, well in this case a negative clamper circuit, it's going to be clamped toward ground. Um, zero volts. We're not you know, disregarding the volts drop across the diode. The DC bias will be the only thing determining what will be the level in our adjustment of that up or down minus the voltage drop across the diode will give you what your level is. If you had a negative polarity DC it would be minus the voltage drop across the diode. If you had positive polarity you'd be adding to it. Before I forget, if anyone wants a video on the positive clamper circuit, leave a comment below. All right, now I'm just going to uh, run it and we'll take a look at the input signal again. Uh, 5 volt peak to peak and the output. And it shows it again because of the uh, D1 diode, we have a, it starts conducting at 0.7 volts above 0 volts. So, and just like last time, it continues in this manner but we're going to little, do a little di something different. I'm going to cut out some things here and I'm going to add my uh, negative DC bias and we are going to push this down to zero volts exactly. get rid of these things here and we'll uh, let me move this out of the way let's see nope got that backwards let's see if I get this in the right polarity here all right Make our connections. Always connect ground. Let's see, okay, then we want to have this exactly at zero volts. So we're going to need a bias voltage of negative 0.7 volts so we could start conduction of the D1 diode at 0 volts instead of point positive 0 0.7 volts all right go ahead simulate and run it and we should be right at 0 volts and 
we are. All right, because of the negative bias voltage on the cathode side, we're at negative 0.7 volts. So to start conduction of the D1 diode, I have to be at 0.7 volts above that, which happens to be zero volts, and that will be our level. Hope this has been helpful. Uh, we'll see you again next time.